The Battle of Britain will be marked this weekend by a special fly-past in London. And during a training session for the big day, the Battle of Britain flight, which is based in Coningsby in Lincolnshire, took on board a Harrogate man who has now achieved his ambition to fly one last mission as a tail-end Charlie. Alan Hardwick reports. Valentine's Day 1945 marked one of the most devastating air raids in history. In just a few hours, 800 Allied bombers pounded the German city of Dresden to rubble. Many aircraft and crews simply didn't return. But among the survivors was tail gunner Jack Carr. He's on the extreme left of this photo with other members of the crew of Lancaster K Killer. Jack was 19. The life expectancy of a tail gunner was six missions. Dresden, according to Jack's own wartime log, was his 31st. It's often happened you, you got thrown about by the explosions, you know, the anti-aircraft a little bit. But I was always optimistic and seemed to scrape through. We, we got hit several times, but we weren't aware of it until we, until we landed and examined the aircraft. The mission to Dresden left a lasting impression. We could see the ex explosions. On the way back, we could see them for hundreds of miles. Still see them. It's been 45 years since Jack occupied the cramped rear gunner's turret, but the Battle of Britain Memorial flight, based at Coningsby in Lincolnshire, allowed the former airmen to fly with them on a short hop aboard the city of Lincoln, one of only two flying yeah, Lancasters in the world. There we are. There's home for the next hour. Hey. Jack could have chosen to fly in the main body of the giant aircraft. Instead, he headed straight for the tail section. During the war, Jack, who was based at nearby RAF Binbrook, didn't have the protection of perspex around him. It was removed to give better visibility, and temperatures in the turret plunged to minus 30 degrees centigrade. But on this trip, conditions were comparatively luxurious. No enemy aircraft, just the more comforting sight of the Battle of Britain flights accompanying Spitfires. horrendous uh, position in the aircraft because of course that's where most of the attacks came from and they did suffer uh, an enormous casualty rate and in fact they became favored targets by the enemy because of their exposed position on mm. in the tail that's right yes yes it uh, as I say it must have been a very lonely and dangerous way to fight a war I, I've heard um, if he averaged four operations he was considered a veteran but uh, it was a very, very bad position to be in the particular aeroplane because the, the night fighters used to attack from the stern and, and below. All that was a lifetime ago for Jack Carr, whose reunion with the Lancaster and his VIP flight provoked a brief reaction. Great trip, man. I'm left in no doubt as to what this aeroplane means to those who flew it operationally. When I get down on the ground and I met by the chaps uh, who've come to look at the aeroplane uh, and to talk to us. And it's quite obvious when they come up to the aeroplane just what it does mean to them. I think it was more dicey uh, earlier, earlier in the war when they were going on these Wellingtons, Whitlers and Lancasters. Lancaster was a better aircraft. Still going through the same anti-aircraft fire. 